Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Infrastructural development in the Tempani district of the Upper East region has been the Assembly's focus. The district assembly currently operates from a community-based planning and services centre. The Timpani district is one of the youngest created in 2018. The poverty-ridden district was carved from the then Garu Timpani district at a time infrastructural development was a challenge. Two years on, not much has changed. The district assembly, for instance, operates from a structure earmarked as a chips compound. The facility lacks space. Other state agencies, including the Department of Food and Agriculture, the Health and Education Directorates, which has been supervised by the assembly, face similar challenges. The District Chief Executive for Tempani, Paul Azuma Bugui, said government has started addressing some of the infrastructural gaps. Uh, this is a chief compound and that is what we are using to host um, the disassembly. And as you can see in front there, we an assembly decided to build a uh, 15 uh, room accommodation for the disassembly. But the central Government is building um, one story building just by the fire services ahead, and then they are at the foundation level. The assembly depends solely on government allocation for development as internally generated funds rarely benefit the district. On health, the district chief executive said the country stands the risk of recording more cases of coronavirus owing to porous borders. He said due to the improved healthcare system in the district, residents living in neighboring countries come through unapproved routes to seek health care. Tempani borders to go to the east at Sinkase and Burkina Faso to the North. Our health system is far better than what it is in neighboring Togo and Burkina Faso. So the slightest um, severe sickness that they get, even common malaria, they, they cross to our place here. And you know, most of them also have this national health insurance. So they come to seek for medical uh, uh, services free of charge to our system. That's where the fear is. Tempani currently has no hospitals, so residents rely on a health center and CHIPS compound for their immediate health care needs. Smuggling of fertilizers to neighboring countries for sale is another setback to the development of Tempani. Most farmers in the district are beneficiaries of the Planting for Food and Jobs program, but fertilizers allotted to farmers are frequently smuggled out of the country, thereby defeating the purpose of the program. The district chief executive, however, said smuggling in the area cannot be eradicated. I've been saying this. If anybody tells you that fertilizer smuggling can be halted in this part of our place here, the person is not being truthful. We can bring it to the minimum, barest minimum lesson because people buy yara that is not planted for food and job. It's not planted for food and job fertilizer. It's a normal fertilizer and they send it to Burkina Faso. And you cannot, you cannot be at, the, the, the entry points are so many. We have our secret, secret immigration and then soldiers at the various entry points, recognized entry points, but so many routes. For farmers, getting adequate water to do irrigated farming is their priority. priority. <laughs> Sooner, some no, and no, and I hear a problem. Cassiawa, am I? As the country prepares to go to the polls in December, residents of Tempani would want political parties to feature policies and programs aimed at improving their lives.